In this video, we're going to talk about your Structurally dashboard. The dashboard is the landing page that you see each time you log into Structurally. Along the top, you can see how many leads you have engaged for the current billing cycle. This number resets monthly. Below that, you can see all of your leads and where they are currently at in their qualification journey. As your leads move through these five stages, they will end in agent follow-up. These are leads that are either fully qualified or that had a question the assistant couldn't answer, like, did you get my email? The assistant will hand these off to you via the notification options in your My Account settings. Now let's hop down to the Messages section. The Messages section allows you to see all of the conversations taking place with your assistant. On the left-hand side of the screen, you can see the conversations listed in chronological order with most recent activity at the top. In the middle of the screen, you can scroll through each conversation in its entirety, and along the right-hand side of the screen, you can see the qualifiers and all of the data the assistant has gathered from this lead. At the bottom, you can see a reply section. This allows you to jump into the conversation at any time and send a message on behalf of your assistant. Jumping into the conversation does mute the assistant, however, which will stop all future communications, including drip campaigns. So we recommend jumping into the conversation only when you are fully ready to take over this lead. You can also toggle from reply to note so that you can add private notes to yourself in the message. You can see in the example here, there is a note that says attempted to call in yellow. This note is not visible to the lead, but can be nice for helping to keep things organized. This feature does not mute the assistant. You can also see which type of message was received and sent using the small icons in the top left corner of each message. Text messages are chat bubbles, emails are envelopes, and so on. Your assistant will often send out the first message via two channels, email and text. And then, whichever channel the lead responds on, it will continue the conversation using that lead's communication preference. And lastly, if you need to close a lead for any reason, you can do so by clicking on the green Open dropdown in the top right-hand corner of your screen and selecting Closed. This will move the lead from your view, but does not actually stop the conversations. To stop the conversations, you would want to mute the assistant first and then close. Normally, this is used to remove from view any lead that provided bad information or replied with something like wrong number or stop. In any of these situations where the lead asks the assistant to stop communicating with them, the assistant will mute itself. Then you can just click closed and move that conversation out of view. And the last thing we wanna look at is the leads panel. The leads panel allows you to sort and organize all of the leads under your brokerage. If you're a member of a team, you may only see the leads that are assigned to you, depending on your permissions. You can add filters to the leads by clicking on the filter icon next to the search bar. Here we have a filter that is looking for stage is responded and lead type is buyer. You can add additional criteria to your filters until you get a filter that's perfect. If you have a filter built that you think you'll want to use in the future, you can save that filter and that makes it easily accessible from this drop-down menu in the future. This can be exceptionally helpful for teams who have ISAs or people who have to hop in occasionally and kind of organize things and want to be able to get a good bird's eye view of specific types of leads and certain things that are happening in the account. And the last thing to point out is our chat help feature. When you're logged into your dashboard, you can click this icon at any time to start a chat with a member of our customer success team. We are available weekdays during Central Standard Business Hours and typically respond in less than 10 minutes. You can also send us an email at help at structurally.com for any non-urgent requests. This concludes our dashboard walkthrough. Welcome to Structurally.